Grapes grown here in Nova Scotia want to be sparkling. I've never ever seen grapes want to be sparkling so bad as they do here in Nova Scotia. So something that we've kind of discovered over the last um, decade and, and really a little longer people have been working at this, it's the realization that our region is really well suited for sparkling wine and you know specifically traditional method sparkling wine. The classic traditional method or the Champagne Noir method is to do a dry ferment after some age, rebottle it with that bit of that sugar and yeast. And of course all the bubbles that you uh, see in a traditional method sparkling come from the secondary fermentation of the yeast in the bottle. It's kind of the creme de la creme of that kind of product and uh, we've got a perfect growing environment for it. We have a really extended growing season so we're able to hang the grapes really late into, uh, into the year. And when we harvest them, they're full of flavor, they're full of aromatic potential, but they still retain that great acid balance. And that's what we're looking for in making base wines for traditional method sparkling. Another big part of traditional method sparkling is the aging component. We have this crazy acidity here in Nova Scotia that allows us to actually age the wines for a really long time, five, six, eight sometimes even 10 years. And what you get from that aging process on the yeast leaves in the bottle is a beautiful toastiness. Bready, biscuity, yeasty note that's so sought after in, in traditional method sparkling. And it's that process that really brings out the character of the wines from Nova Scotia. So you end up with these really creative and really interesting and unique wines that are on par with some of the best sparkling wines in the world. In wine circles around the world, uh, it's known that Nova Scotia, we make exceptional sparkling wines here.